have been under investigation now for two years. There have been leaks to the media. There have been, there's been relentless character assassination, a relentless character assassination. And for more than a month, claims that a, a decision on whether to lay charges um, was imminent. I'm looking forward, finally, to having my day in court. Uh, I'm innocent of these charges. They are false. The whole idea of sexual abuse is abhorrent to me. I've uh, kept uh, Pope Francis, the Holy Father, regularly informed uh, during these uh, long months, and I have spoken to him on a number uh, of occasions uh, in the last uh, week, I think uh, most recently a day or so ago. And we talked about uh, my need to take leave to clear my name. So I'm very grateful to the Holy Father for giving me this leave to return to Australia. I've spoken to my lawyers about uh, when this will be necessary, and I've spoken to my doctors about the best way uh, to uh, achieve this. All along, I have been completely consistent and clear in my total rejection of these allegations. News of these charges strengthens my resolve, strengthens my resolve. And court proceedings now offer me an opportunity to clear my name and then return here uh, back to Rome. The Vatican treasurer, Cardinal George Pell, has vehemently denied any wrongdoing. After being charged with sex offences in his native Australia, he complained that he had been subjected to relentless character assassination. During a two-year investigation into the false claims, he said the Pope had granted him a leave of absence to fight the charges. The charges relate to alleged historical incidents, police in the state of Victoria said. The allegations were made by a number of people, said Police Deputy Commissioner Shane Patton. Cardinal Pell, 76, who is based in the Vatican, is considered the third-ranking official in the Holy See. He told a news conference at the Holy See and looking forward finally to having my day in court. I am innocent of these charges. They are false. The whole idea of sexual abuse is abhorrent to me. The Catholic Church worldwide has in recent years faced a damaging series of allegations relating to sex abuse by priests and claims that these cases were covered up. The BBC's James Reynolds says the charges leave the church and the Pope in an uncomfortable position. After his election in 2013, Pope Francis created a commission to deal with allegations of sexual abuse by clerics. Now he finds that one of his closest advisors faces charges of his own. What are the charges? Victoria Police said they had made the decision to charge Cardinal Pell after receiving advice from prosecutors last month. Cardinal Pell is facing multiple charges, and there are multiple complainants, Deputy Commissioner Patton said. The Cardinal would be required to face the Melbourne Magistrates Court on the 18th of July, Deputy Commissioner Patton said. A magistrate will decide next week whether to release the details and the nature of the charges ahead of the Cardinal's court appearance. Who is Cardinal Pell? Cardinal Pell has been a strong supporter of traditional Catholic values taking a conservative stance on same-sex marriage and contraception, and advocating priestly celibacy. But his career has been dogged first by claims that he covered up child sexual abuse by priests, and then later that he was himself an abuser. He has always strongly denied any wrongdoing. In 2014, Cardinal Pell was summoned to Rome to become chief of the Vatican's finances, a new position created by Pope Francis in the wake of scandals at the Vatican Bank, but he left behind growing anger over revelations of child sex abuse by members of the Catholic clergy in Australia. 
Cardinal Bell repeatedly faced allegations from abuse victims of a cover-up and his critics accused him of appearing aloof and arrogant. He was accused of moving one notorious pedophile priest Gerald Ridsdale around parishes rather than reporting him, and of attempting to bribe one of the victims to keep quiet. He denied any wrongdoing, but said he could have done more to investigate claims of abuse. In 2016 the Australian Broadcasting Corp ABC aired allegations by two men, who claimed Cardinal Bell had touched them inappropriately in the 1970s. He strongly denied the allegations, describing them as a scandalous mere campaign. Cardinal Bell is not just Australia's most senior cleric, he is one of the highest ranking officials in the Catholic world. For two decades, he has been a frontline figure in the Turks debate over controversial issues such as homosexuality, AIDS, and stem cell research. He has also handled the Turks' official response to allegations of sexual abuse within its Australian ranks during a series of inquiries. When he gave evidence via video link to a royal commission into abuse last year, some abuse survivors flew all the way to Rome to watch. It is hard to overstate, therefore, the significance of the decision to press charges against him. When he returns to face those charges in an Australian court, every second will be scrutinised not just by the Australian press, but by 